Well, hi everyone. I am going to be taking a look at something today that I usually say I'm never going to look at, but I have some thoughts for this upcoming year, and that is the Hobonichi Weeks Planner. The Hobonichi Techo Weeks 2024 English Edition, Monday start, um, January start. So the reason I'm taking a look at this, despite the fact that in the past I've said I wasn't going to, is because next year uh, there's a bit of a journaling practice I'd like to pick up. And I want to use a size like this that I can throw in my purse. So I've got this one. I ordered the Sterling Ink one to take a look at. And I ordered the um, Lauren Phelps Designs one to take a look at. And I will do a comparison of all three of these when I get them. But until then, I'm just going to be taking a look at them one by one as I get them. So uh, the reason... I just want to kind of flip through it, give you some of my thoughts. This is not going to be a deep dive on Hobonichi. I don't know everything. There's so many people who are obsessed with this brand and use it all the fucking time. I am not one of those people. I just want to kind of take a look at it and decide what I think. So I ordered this one from Jet Pens. They don't have a lot in stock anymore, but um, this one is the cardstock cover. The, what color is it? It's blue green. Yeah, pale blue green paper series is what it is. I ordered this one because I didn't want to, this was less expensive than the ones with the fancier covers. And I just got one of these plastic covers to throw on it to protect it. So the one I got from Jet Pens is, like I said, the English 2024 January start. It, it was $28 from Jet Pens. I know that they're cheaper if you buy them on the actual Hobonichi website, but that you have to get up to like some ridiculous amount for shipping. And I am not about to spend that much money on one of these things. So oh, I don't want to spend that much money on a lot of these things if I'm not even sure. This is, this is cute. Are these like translations of some of the things? All right. So this is the Hobonichi's weekly planner. And from what I understand, the paper in here is the same Tomoe River paper that has been, you know, around for a long time. The new Tomoe River paper won't show up until the April start. So the cover of this is kind of a shimmery cardstock. It's pretty thick. I would say closer to chipboard than cardstock in terms of the thickness, but it does have that kind of flimsy feel. I've got a little, couple marks on the back. The embossed Hobonichi on the front's embossed with gold inside saying 2024 and the same on the side. Looks like it comes with a little plastic pocket to just stick in it on one of these spots. So I'll just shove that in the back for right now. So the inside's got the Hobonichi kind of like print on the inside. You open it up. It's the weeks. 2024 year at a glance and then last year and next year year at a glance and the Sundays are in red these are all Monday starts because that's the one that I bought was Monday start and then a spot for 2024 important dates you've got your year at a glance calendar here now I get you're supposed to be able to put like a point like something in here but this is very small and I have very small handwriting so I don't know what I would use this for just yet but it gives you the whole year um in like bullet journal format with the weekends in like colors. And then at the top, there's a handful of spots with checklists for you to write extra stuff. And we're going to start with no, I, December because that's when these things actually start. So here's the month of December. It's a grid page with the red highlighting Sundays and the gray highlighting Saturdays. And You've got a little open kind of header and then a grid inside. And then at the bottom here, this is all grid. And then there's four check boxes down here. The months are all at the front and they take you all the way through March of 2025. Then you have your weekly layout. And this is the thing I am the most interested in for journaling because you have your week on one page and that gives you a horizontal weekly with, a, with the moon cycles here. some little tips down here at the bottom and then there's some little lines here if you like little dots here if you want to like use them as guides to draw lines but this gives you your little weekly and then over here is a grid page that you can use to uh, 
put whatever you want. If you look, there is a line, a very faint line running down that you can use to, again, divide some of this page off if you want to or not. And then while there's a dot, while there's a grid here, if you like look at it, you can see the lines from the page on the other side kind of showing through to give you also guidelines if you want to divide this exactly like this page. I'll also note that the weekly page is not grid at all. It's just got the lines on it. And then on up here in the corner is the number of the month. The weekly pages start the very last week of November that bleeds into the last the first week of December. So you get the weekly pages for December 2023 as well as all of 2024. And then in the bottom you have a tiny little calendar with the week that you're in circled. And that that is the weekly section of the planner. Then when you get to the end of the year, which takes you through the last week of December, first week of January, you have a useful abbreviations page and then some notes pages that include a index that you can fill out. The notes pages are the same as the notes pages in the weekly with the faint line running down the side. You have a bunch of them. I know with the mega, you have more notes pages. In this one, which is not the mega, you have 73 pages of these notes. They're also, the notes pages are numbered. The rest of the planner is not numbered, but the notes pages are numbered starting at one. So that makes this index even easier to use. Then finally, after you get to the end of the notes pages, you have a guide to give you some ideas of how to measure things using your like hands and your arms and so that you can like use this to figure out thumb to pinky. If you put this like this, how many inches is it to help you kind of measure common things? And it gives you some other ideas down here as well in terms of some common items and what their sizes are. You've got some pages to put some favorites in and some rankings and you get a little spot for the date. You get some lines and then over here you can kind of circle. What is it? Is it a movie? Is it a book? Is it a music? Is it food, shopping or hands clapping? I don't know what hands clapping is. So it could be anything, I guess. So you have two pages of this. You've got a list of 100 entries for anything you want. So it, it marks when you hit a number 10. So it could be books you've read. It could be snacks, shops, whatever you want. This could be a great way to track books you've read, especially if you're using this as a book journal. An interview with myself. This is a section for thinking about you. So you fill this out, decide what you want to, maybe at the beginning of the year, one thing you're determined to do, the one thing you won't do this year, the person you most want to meet, the part of me that deserves praise, unhappiest when. My favorite thing to have for lunch is, my song for the year is, a new word I learned recently, top three things I bought recently, if I had a week off I could, if the world was about to end, my last meal would be, and a message to my future self. Seasonal sweets to make it home. I'm going to have to show these to Sunny. Sunny might get super into this. Strawberry frozen yogurt, matcha, oh, yeah. 365 days checkoff sheet. That's pretty awesome. It looks like these little, it's one day for every day of the year and it's 365 and every 10 days you get like a, a diamond as opposed to a circle. You've got some addresses back here and then a spot to put your own information in back here. Then you've got the number of the Hobonichi and the spot for your pocket, however you want to put it. There should also be some bookmarks in here. Yeah, got two bookmarks. One's black, one's gray. You leave one on the month, leave one on the week, however you want to do it. And that's the Hobonichi. I'm not going to get into the Tomoe River paper. I'm not an expert on it. It's thin. It's crinkly. It's like used toilet paper that's gotten used after being going pee. You wipe your butt and then you leave it out in the fucking sun and it gets all crunchy. But there's also something really satisfying about it when you write on it a whole bunch and it's got that crinkly look. So if you want, again, you can go look up information. I am not well versed in this stuff because I don't usually use it. I did use the sterling ink for the first half of the year with the same paper for a work planner, but I did make some changes to that. So the other thing I got was this cover. It's a Hobonichi brand cover because if I've learned anything recently, it's that if you purchase the cover for these sorts of notebooks from a company that's not the company, like it's not measured specifically for that notebook, then even if they're very similar in size, they may not fit right. See my Hobonichi size cover for my uh, Sterling ink and how it was just driving me up the wall. 
So this is the cover, and it was $4, made by Hobonichi. I don't know what this part is. What is this? They have a color version, and then if you go, they have one that has like some cute little designs on it. It's made with PVC vinyl. This is supposed to be a bookmark flap. I'm not gonna try and rip that out though because I'm struggling with it, but it comes with a pocket here, a pocket here, and then a pen loop. So let's put this puppy on. Okay, I know people buy like wallets and stuff for these, but I don't wanna invest a whole bunch of money if I A, don't know if I'm using this one, and B, don't know if this journaling thing is gonna work out for me. But in the meantime, this cover seems to fit really well. Uh, according to the website, um, the uh, if you use the Mega with this, it could be a little tight, but it'll break in over time. So, cool. This is the Hobonichi, um, the Hobonichi Weeks. So I'm considering using this for a journaling practice for next year with maybe like this spot to put some thoughts for the day or if I decide to use the pot tarot to write down my weedy... Here, I guess I'll show you this too. Why not? Um, my weedy pot tarot cards but what I wanted to do was have a spot with a really really like low barrier to entry for journaling which with the size of my handwriting would be these spaces per day and then a spot on the other side to put in like pictures and things like that again to help help uh help con uh, not convince to help um the fool snugs <laughs> the magician is yeah okay this is gonna be cute we'll have to go through this if you really want to see this let me know but um the point being is that i i need because i'm not really doing um one little word this year that i dropped it i think i talked about that already on this channel but i'll talk about it more at the end of the year um, i'm not taking as many pictures and while i don't want to go back to one little word because it's just it, it doesn't feel necessary to me this year i do want encouragement to take pictures each week so I don't really have room in my planner for it because I already fill it up with work and with personal stuff. And while I might have space on those dividers, like I talked about in my previous video from Moxie Life, having somewhere to stick pictures that I take every day or whatever would be great. So currently I'm thinking about doing this and then maybe using the back to have more pictures as well. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. It may not even be this guy. So we'll just keep that in mind. Stay tuned. Let me know in the comments, are you a Hobonichi devotee? Do you want to give a, a lecture on Tomoe River paper in the comments? Go for it. Otherwise, let me know what planners you'd like me to take a look at. If you use the weeks, what do you use it for? If you use other Hobonichis, what do you use them for? Give me some thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, friends, peace.